Lynn, thanks so much. Well, new here at 11, a Las Vegas man is demanding justice tonight for a severely beaten dog he says he found in the middle of his apartment complex. Now, we do want to warn you that some of the details of the story are disturbing. Uh, Gary Lafferty says he was walking his dog at this a complex near Charleston and Marion in the East Valley yesterday morning when he stumbled upon another younger female dog showing signs of abuse. He told me it was clear just looking at the dog, it was severely abused. He says she was very skinny, had lumps on her body, and her face was swollen. Who could do something like this? Like, what, what kind of person, like, what kind of person that, that's living on Earth can just, just take out their anger on this dog? It, it, this dog is only two years old. Like, it, the injuries to this dog were like if somebody just came home and had a bad day and they just, they just, just took it out on this dog for no reason. Lafferty says he doesn't know whose dog this is and hasn't seen it there before. A family member of his put him in touch with the organization Kiss My Paws, who helped him get it, the dog to a vet. Now this is a photo from Nevada Voters for Animals. They tell me uh, the dog at the hospital there, this photo was taken from Tropical Animal Hospital. Now one advocate from the organization told me the dog has extreme trauma, is emaciated, has multiple healed ribs, leg fractures, and evidence points to uh, sodomy. To see that someone can just do this, it's, it's horrible. And they need to be stopped and they need, justice needs to be served. She's going to get justice. Well, I've already continued to say Clark County Animal Services did respond to the apartment complex at Charleston and Marion shortly after the dog was rushed to the vet. He says Animal Services then reported the incident to Metro because of the type of injuries. Right now, I am told Kiss My Paws is helping with expenses now. It is unclear where the investigation stands. As of tonight, we put in a request to Metro and Clark County this evening for an update. As soon as we learn more about this case, we will be sure to update the story.